Oh, yeah. okay. So. Yeah. We're on. Oh We're live. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Ooh, that might work. Okay. Now go to the uh, rotate your phone. Gone. You can't You can't turn your phone while recording. Oh. So do we have to That's okay. 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 It's all right. We're just going to leave it like this. I can this. block my refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. So I am here with my amazing friend, Diane. And Diane and I met in, two, what did we say, 2001? Well, Alana's no. 15. Oh, my goodness. So, that yeah. No, 2000. We met in 2000. In 2000. Oh so we have known each other for a long time. We met, because our husbands were in the army together, but we haven't seen each other in 14 years. Way too long. Way too long. And now we live three and a half hours away from each other. So we came to visit them this weekend, and I am really excited because I want Diane to kind of share. I'm gonna have her kind of talk about her background. Um, a little bit. She is a massage therapist, and we've been talking about lim the lymphatic system. I know those of you who are they're like, oh my gosh, man, I'm glad I'm on this live call. This sounds fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> but I, it's really cool because not long ago I did a class on supporting like winter wellness, so supporting your body through the winter months. Um, during the cold and flu season, you know, we want to make sure that we're supporting our bodies. So how there's multiple ways that we can do that. And I did this class and if you haven't seen the class, you can check it out. And I think it's, I think I put it on, um, granolababes.net mm -hmm. under video classes. Um, and it's also it's on your website too. One of, one of your websites. Yeah. It's on, I, yeah, I think it's on, or on the, yeah. 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 I think it's on my personal page too. So check that out. But we want to talk about the lymphatic system, and it is fascinating. I think you're going to be fascinated. <laughs> but first, before we dive into the exciting world of the lymphatic system, <laughs> um, I do want to, we're going to talk about doing the really cool massage technique um, that you can do on your face. And Diane is just going to give us a little bit of, um, we're going to talk a little bit of science, and we're going to talk a little bit of just, just something very, very simple. Um, I also, before we get any further, I want to say that neither one of us are medical <laughs> professionals. We are not doctors. This is for educational purposes only. We are not diagnosing, prescribing, treating. We're not doing any of that stuff. We're not saying, you know, we're just providing just some easy, simple techniques that just support a healthy person. Mm -hmm. So if you are a healthy individual, this is for you. If you are really, 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 really sick, you need to go talk to your doctor. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Right? <laughs> I can't diagnose you. Yeah, no, we're not diagnosing or treating or anything. No. So we're talking about the average healthy person. That's who we're talking to. So, so tell us a little bit about you and your background. So I'm a massage therapist. I'm a licensed massage therapist in Georgia. And um, I've been doing this for about four years now. And I just love it. I, you know, it's something that I've always enjoyed since I was little. Uh, I was a gymnast and while we were all sitting watching each other do routines, I was usually sitting behind my coach massaging their shoulders. Um, the cousins would come over and I was walking on their backs and massaging their backs. But, um, so, you know, it's something just I'm passionate about, and I know that natural healing, there's so much that can be done just naturally. Our bodies want to be healthy, um, mm -hmm. and they don't want medicine and, you know, all this mm -hmm. stuff. But, you know, medicine at times is very good for you. Mm -hmm. But, um, so, yeah, I, you know, I've taken a lot of different, we have to take uh, extra um, courses to maintain our license, and one of the courses I took was a cupping course, and we actually touched on lymphatic massage, and it was just, it was really neat to to learn and experience. Um, so, I'm just gonna give you a little bit. Well, and too, what didn't, I learned. Didn't you, um, didn't you go to school for like kinesiology or something? I or? did. Yeah. So I studied the whole body, and yeah. um, you know, I finally becoming a massage therapist, I finally was able to put that to use. So. And she's yeah. a granola babe. She's been a granola babe for how many years? <laughs> Probably what, four or five. Four or five years. Yeah. So she's been oiling. She's an oiler. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she's a granola babe. So and yeah. in my personal <laughs> massage business, I don't use it at the spa where I work. Um, but in my personal business, I always bring my oils with me when I go to somebody's house. You know, there's 
not, I don't think I've had anybody who said, no, nah, I don't want any aromatherapy. I don't want, you know, there's mm -hmm. always something that I'm adding to the table um, besides just my touch. Yeah. Awesome. So, so let's talk about the lymphatic system or <laughs> lymphatic massage. Or do you call it lymphatic massage? Yes. Or okay. Some, you can either just say lymphatic massage or lymph massage. You know, it's, you're yeah. working the whole system, the lymphatic system, um, mm -hmm. but you're also, you're working with the lymph fluid. So. And this is something that anybody can do to mm -hmm. themselves. They don't need to necessarily go to a professional to do this very simple technique, right? Right. right. Okay. You just have to know um, it's very gentle. It's very slow. Um, so the average person is probably, if they're, you know, you're doing lymph massage, you're probably just going to do it on your neck and face. If you want full body, um, then you're you're going to want to go to a massage therapist to, to have that done. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's so beneficial. You know, it's it's very relaxing. Um, it can help with stress-related depression. It's very good for insomnia. But it also, it just helps the immune system, keeps, your, keeps things flowing, flushing the toxins out of your body, and just it's overall general wellness. You know, it's, yeah. it's you know, something that you can do every single day, you know, whether you're doing it manually with your hands or stimulating the, blood, the lymph flow with a dry brush you know it's super super simple and people don't think about their lymphatic system when was the last time you thought about your <laughs> lymphatic system <laughs> when you were sick probably thinking, yes. oh god <laughs> yes yeah and we'll talk about that too like when is a good time you we were just having this discussion um about when is a good time to do this and um, but let's just talk about like what is the lymphatic system and what's the purpose and what does it do what's the so I'm totally going to read off some paper real quick, it's so okay. don't mind the top of my head. <laughs> so just in general, the lymphatic system, um, it's a system of vessels and nodes, and you'll find clusters of them all over your body, uh, especially in your neck. You've got some in your face and head, um, but they, they're different to the blood vessel system, your veins and arteries, um, and it provides just another pathway for fluids of the circulatory system to return to the heart. And then, uh, so the lymphatic system is a one-way system where obviously your blood flow, you know, you've got a big circle, loops through the heart, and then goes, you know, around. Um, so that's an open, or it's an open system. The lymphatic system is, no, well, other way around. The lymphatic system is open because it flushes it out. Once it goes through your lymphatic system, your fluid's going to pass into your blood system and then make its way out through your liver and kidneys and your digestive system and your lungs. So, you know, it's, it's really important to maintain a healthy lymphatic system. Encourage the flow of that fluid so that you can get the toxins through your lymph nodes. It cleans them, breaks them down and neutralizes them, pushes it out into the blood system and so it can exit your body and get, you know, make you feel better. And the lymphatic system is a part of our immune system. And that's what we need, especially during these next few months, the winter months. We de definitely need to be uh, taking good care of our immune system. So that encompasses the mm -hmm. lymphatic system. So, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Just sitting around having tea, talking about the lymphatic system. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, um... Obviously, lymph massage or lymphatic massage is, um, it's really good to encourage the flow of the lymph through your body. Um, it doesn't force it through. You don't want to push it through, um, but it just kind of helps encourage it. Let it so what say, is hey, the lymph? Go. Talk about what, what is lymph actually? Lymph is a fluid that it's made of your <clears throat> blood plasma and it continuously bathes the cell in your body and connective tissues. And um, these tissues receive nourishment and building materials from the fluid, and it also releases waste products and toxins in the fluid. Um, without it, the tissues will dry up and degenerate, <laughs> which is yeah, not good, not good. kind of gross. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't want to turn into a raisin. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, so it's really important to support that lymphatic, your lymphatic system and, and keep things healthy and flowing and uh, so you can get all those toxins out of your body. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so good, I would imagine that good um, diet, hydration, uh, those things are complement mm -hmm. a healthy lymphatic system too. Definitely. So, yeah. So. And we're going to talk about oils, like how we can incorporate our oils. <laughs> but because there are a, a number of oils that are really great at supporting the lymphatic system. Mm -hmm. So, 
But anyway, yeah, sorry, go ahead. No, so, okay. <laughs> so um, when the, the lymph flows through your lymphatic system, your the toxins are going to travel into your lymph nodes, and they, they're broken down and released into the bloodstream, like I, I think I mentioned before, and then they're just exited through the body. Oh. Yep, go ahead. Then I'm they're exited through the body, through, you know, your your liver, your kidney, your lungs, your digestive system. And, um, you know, we're just going to, to learn something that will help get things flowing and encourage all that to start moving throughout your body so that you can feel better. And um, you actually, you don't want to massage, you don't want to do a lymph massage when you're actually sick, like... Um, if you have an infection or a fever, which you may think, well, that's the time that I need to do it, but you actually, um, your body needs a chance to, uh, to break down those toxins and then you want to flush them out. Um, so you may feel your lymph nodes swollen. You don't want to do lymphatic massage at that time because those lymph nodes are doing their job. They're trying to get rid of all those toxins, you know, everything that needs to be done. Um, but then you want to encourage it out um, after that. So, um, so yeah, if you're sick, if you're actually sick, or if you have any inflammation, fever, whatever, there's, there's, the list is, it's not long, but there are, I think it's more common sense kind of things. If you have major issues, talk to your doctor about it first. Yeah. Um, and they may tell you, no, you actually don't want to do this right now. Wait, a, you know, wait a little while. Um, but yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. But the cool. some of the techniques for lymphatic massage, it's super simple. Um, it's just, it's it's systemic, or systematic, and uh, it's very gentle, and uh, you don't want to, you, you want it to enhance the flow, not, um, not force it, and uh, there's, uh, we've got a, a chart. And yeah. And even and Carrie I, said she's going to yeah. download it on, and there's... I will, of, I will post it. I will post it. That. So yeah, no, that's perfect. It kind of gives you an idea of where to go. You know what to do. The movement. So with lymphatic massage, you've got clusters of lymph nodes, especially in your neck, here and here, and they're in your face too. So <clears> you <throat> will start in one cluster, real gentle little circles, and you can do both sides at the same time. Real Is this gentle right circles, above your collarbone. Right above or? your collarbone. Okay. And it's actually kind of close. This is the sternal notch, so, you know, kind of right about here. Okay. And you'll do about, like, five to ten real gentle circles. And are you using just one finger, or are you... You, you can do whatever is comfortable for you, I okay. guess. Okay. So you'll do five to ten gentle circles, and then you're just going to move up the neck. And you're and talking light. Really or, light, because yeah. the lymphatic system is very superficial. Um, so you'll work your way, doing little circles, up to, like, the base of your ears. Okay. And then you're just gonna just kind of feather brush down your neck back to where you started, and then you're gonna go in the reverse direction because what you're gonna do is first you're gonna open these things up, open up the lymph channels, and get the blood, the blockages, get the the lymph flowing, and then you're going to encourage to flush it out. So then you're gonna start start where you finished, okay, and then you're gonna go in the opposite direction. Not not opposite circles necessarily, oh, okay. <laughs> but you're going to go back. Counterclockwise, clockwise, yeah. it doesn't really matter. No. Okay. You're actually, you're going to go back to where you started. Okay. And then you'll flush again. Okay. okay. So. Yeah, you're going to go up and then feather and then and start then, there and then go down yep, and then feather. To help encourage, you, you want to open everything up and then you want to clear everything by going back down and then you'll finish with the final flush. Okay. And then, so that starts with the neck. You're going to want to start with your neck. And then work all the way up to like your forehead, and you can even do the top of your head. But there's some more charts you can Google online, you know, mm -hmm. lymph flow, lymph massage, and you know, see what directions and where. But you'll do it in sections. Start with your neck, you can do it around the lips. But everything, whenever you finish each section, you're going to finish with a final flush. And then pick up where you and left off. Pick up to the next, to the next section. section. Mm -hmm. okay. And you'll start it. Your wherever you begin, you're gonna end. Mm -hmm. Do your flush, mm -hmm. and then go back again in the reverse direction and okay. do a flush. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And so you're saying up in your fore you could do it in your forehead mm -hmm. too. You're gonna go up okay. to your forehead, little circles, and you'll like start here, 
at your third eye, <laughs> right between okay. the, the eyebrows, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you'll go, you can even do a couple times, do the little circles out, or actually, let's see, so yeah. you would actually start like here, work your way in, flush, flush. Okay. and then you're going to work your way back out, and flush and again, flush. Okay. and then finish it off, you know, wherever you just were, and then finish go it back off down. Okay. with everything. And like you said, there's there's a number of um, images that you can Google that mm -hmm. will help you to know what the what these spots are, yes. where, where these places there's are. There's so many. I mean, they're all over Pinterest and all mm -hmm. over Google. I'm just going to take this off. Yeah. Yeah. She's stripping. She's stripping <laughs> over here. <laughs> Didn't know you were getting lymphatic and a little strip tease. <laughs> ah, so. um, yeah. And then you were also saying that another good like if you know yourself to be maybe you already said this when I was hmm. going to get the charger, but you I didn't. Oh, no, okay. Not yet. Yeah, go ahead. You want you want to talk about um, it? So if you know like so like I said, you don't want to do it if you're sick because if your lymph nodes are swollen, they're trying to do their job. But if you know, say you seasonally get congested or you know, allergies or whatever, you know, traditionally like a certain time of year, say like Christmas time, we'll just, you know, for example. Just throw it out there, yeah. If you know you typically get congested or sick around Christmas time, maybe the week or two before you're kind of expecting something to hit, start doing some lymphatic massage and see if you can kind of get that lymph flowing and, and support your immune system. And that might help, you know, get everything geared up and ready, like, oh, it's going to hit, but I'm ready, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, and the same thing is true with, um, with like using your oils and upping your supplements, your Ningxia Red, and <laughs> <laughs> just pour tea on myself. <laughs> um, but you know, things like that. Like I always start thinking about, okay, I need to make sure that I don't forget my my Super C, my um, Ningxia Red. You know, using my Thieves Oil, putting it on a drop underneath my tongue. So these are all things that I amp up. Like I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. I know that stuff. We're gonna be around family. We're gonna be traveling, oh, yeah. and so those are the times that you want to give your your body extra, extra, extra support. And that's basically what you're saying. Like we can do this every day. The average mm -hmm. healthy person can do this lymphatic massage every single day. Yep. Um, but you might want to give special attention those times like because for me I'll be honest it's like for me it's springtime springtime yeah. is really really rough so I I'm going to start implementing this when I you know before that to mm -hmm. kind of prep my body mm -hmm. so but yeah and, and a simple an easy way to do this on a daily basis um even if you're not doing the little circles you know following all the you know the pattern I have a dry brush it's you know this is actually some, one that I got in a little spa kit when my daughter was born. The hospital gave it to me, and I discovered that I had it about a year ago. Um, at the spa that I work, we do dry brush and aromatherapy and whatnot. So um, you can get yourself a dry brush, keep it in the bathroom, um, and before you get in the shower, just simple brushing, real, real light. But you're always going to start, you can either start up at your shoulder, you know, or wherever your legs start at your first um, mm -hmm. lymph cluster, lymph node cluster, work your way down, and then work your way back up, just like you're doing, you know, the regular massage. But it helps stimulate your blood flow, it exfoliates, and, um, but it, it encourages the, um, the lymphatic flow and uh, your lymph system. It really just kind of wakes things up and gets things going. But if you do that every single day, like, I think you'll notice a difference. Mm, you know, even yeah. if you're not, you know, wanting to do all the circles doing this, and, you know, yeah. massage, but, um, you can just do a quick, you know, just a couple of minutes, your legs, your arms, you can even do circles on your stomach. Anytime you want to work on your stomach though, if you're doing any circles, think of the direction that your intestines move. Um, your large intestine, uh, is going to move from your lower right up and around underneath your stomach to the lower left. You always want to go in that direction, please. Okay. Otherwise you will block things up. Oh, that's not interesting. Fun. <laughs> that's that's not fun. interesting. You always want to go in the direction that your intestines move. Okay. Um, the flow, the natural flow. When you're doing the dry brushing or just general massage, I mean, both, in gen okay. both. But yeah, with the dry brushing, you you know, go in that direction because you don't want to get packed up. Yeah, no, nobody <laughs> wants that. No, that's <laughs> not fun. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's something. It's super simple. You can just you know keep it in a basket or on the back of the toilet or whatever, and just a quick brush while the water's heating up. 
yeah. um, before you jump in. And you were saying something about the heart, too, like earlier you were oh. talking about the heart. Yeah, so. Everything, um, anytime you do lymphatic massage uh, or the dry brushing, you always want to go towards the heart. So you're not going to brush this way like you're, you Away. know, mm -hmm. brushing sand right. off your arm. Mm. Um, you always want to bring it, bring it up. Okay. Um, cause you want to encourage it up towards the heart, up towards the flow of your blood so that once it gets through your lymph, your lymph nodes and into your bloodstream, it's going to get pumped through, um, you know, your heart to push it out into your lungs and get rid of it in your digestive system. And, uh, um, was your liver and your kidneys. So once it's get in, gotten into your blood flow, um, it gets mm -hmm. needed. And that's how our body gets rid of waste and toxins is through our kidneys, our liver, digestive system, all that. Like, well, once it gets into our digestive system, like, like with the foods and stuff we mm -hmm. eat, then it goes through the other, yeah. our filtering system. So <laughs> yeah, um, which is why it's so important to drink lots of water and eat high fiber foods. Make mm -hmm. sure you're getting a lot of high fiber um, cause that's how we get rid of like pee and poop. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Flush it out. <laughs> yeah. And so in these, these brushes, like this is so soft, like, you mm -hmm. know, and cause you're not wetting your skin you said it's called dry brush brushing yeah. because your skin is dry. Mm -hmm. This is before, um, you get into the shower or whatever, yeah. but I mean, this... you can do it afterwards, but you're going to be exfoliating a little bit too. So if you want to yeah. wash it all off, then you know, all your skin cells. Yeah. It sounds gross, but... <laughs> well, no, it's true. Cause I mean, that's you... what exfoliating is. Right, right. No, I mean, and, and we are sloughing off... Is that the right word? Sloughing? Yes. Sloughing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dead skin cells off all the time. Yeah. So this is great, but you can find... You don't have to get any special brush. I mean, you could go to Target or Walmart in, in the beauty section, mm -hmm. right? And get yeah. those brushes. Right. But just as long as it's so softer, mm -hmm. you know, not anything... We're not using a, a horse... Mm -hmm. um, don't use brush. a hairbrush. <laughs> or a hair hairbrush. Those wire hairbrushes. Oh. Yeah, no. No, not I mean, and if you don't have that, just just use your fingers. You know, use your fingers. Get that mm. that flowing. Just kind of rake over yourself real gently. Yeah. Um, you can do that with your whole body. Um, you know, if you've got someone who can do it on your back, up. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> and it feels good too. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. But so yeah. that's that's really cool. So you want to talk about. Um, oils, Ooh, yeah. maybe how to incorporate the oils into this massage technique. Mm -hmm. Let me grab my book. Oops, sorry. Okay. As long as we're not getting a boob shot, I guess we're good, right? <laughs> no low cut shirts right. today. <laughs> no, this is um, okay. Where was I? Where was my? Oh, here we go. Yeah. So the oils, I got my handy dandy uh, reference guide. <laughs> So the oils that essential oils have long been known to aid in stimulating and detoxifying the lymphatic system. So the single oils that we can use are myrtle. And I know for those of you, <laughs> myrtle is not available right oh, now. Oh, they've been out for like a year. It's yeah, not I don't know. I, I, and people ask me like, when is, when is Young Living going to get myrtle back? And I really don't know. You can ask Young Living, but, but it... The, Okay, that's another dis discussion, but no, it, it actually is kind of a cool thing because it just goes to show, and this is what I love about Young Living, is when the crop is ready, <laughs> we'll get our oils, you know, mm -hmm. and so they're not going to just get any old myrtle. Like, we're waiting for whatever oil it is that might be out of stock. We're waiting for the harvest mm -hmm. <laughs> of that, so that's a good thing. Um, so myrtle is one of them, but grapefruit, I know lemon, lemongrass, tangerine, orange, rosemary, cypress, cypress, a, cypress is a great oil and it's known for promoting just good, healthy circulation, mm -hmm. um, oh, hyssop and myrrh. Also the essential oil blends are digize, which is interesting. It's not really one I would be. Well, if it encourages digestion and your, yes. lymph, slow, your lymph, it gets pushed out through your system and into your digestive system yeah then I guess yeah it makes sense when you think about the breakdown of it yeah that's true um, aroma life aroma life is a good one um, energy and citrus fresh so those are some blends that support a healthy lymphatic system and then you have made did you make it? Did you say you I made it? I haven't yet. I do okay, I you're going to. to. Yeah, okay. That, that blend. So there's also a lymphatic system recipe, and I would imagine that it would be really easy to put this in a roller bottle. So make up your own roller bottle blend with a roller uh, 
Rollerball Fit Mint, but it's three drops of cypress, one drop of orange, and two drops of grapefruit. Although I would probably put, I would probably what triple, maybe quadruple that recipe, and then add, yeah, if you're going to put it in a 15, 10, yeah. 10 or 15 milliliter roller bottle, and then add your um, carrier oil to it. But that way you can easily just roll on this lymphatic system recipe, mm -hmm. roll it over your lymph, lymph nodes. Yeah, I would say. I mean, you can. Put it right here if you, you know, feel something coming on or if you know you're, you know, maybe your kid's sick and you're like, <laughs> heck no, I'm not getting that too, you know. <laughs> yes, support yourself to make sure that you're, yeah. Put, put some on your lymph nodes right underneath your, your throat, that the, uh, right under, under your chin or, you know, here because that's where it's going to hit you first probably because most, most of the toxins, especially the ones that you're, um, the lymph nodes in your head and your neck are, um, I guess attacking come from you know anything that you put in your nose you know things that come in your eyes and your ears and your mouth um, so if you know that it's cold and flu season and your kids are coughing and they're they're getting sick support these ones first because mm -hmm. that's where it's going to hit you first from you know everything that they breathe in and or breathe out to you mm -hmm. so yeah and I always notice too like when I'm I can tell when I'm starting to come down with something even though it's maybe not full-blown I can start to you know you you all I think have felt this where you're like oh mm, that's sort of throat. <laughs> yeah they're yeah, kind of like kinda... tenderness mm -hmm. um so yeah I know I had a I have a friend um in Arizona who we were working out together, and she she said that um, her groin, Corbett makes fun of me how I say because I always say groin. And he goes, it's groin, groin, not growing, groin. <laughs> um, but uh, so she had, um, it was really, really sore. And so I recommended, and she wasn't sick. I mean, she didn't, she wasn't really, like, sick. Um, but she just, it could have been just something simple, like you are talking about, like, a spider bite. Like, yeah. you had a spider bite. And mm -hmm. um, it, 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 the lymphatic system and or the, our immune system is amazing because it's always it's always fighting for us, fighting mm -hmm. things off that we may not even know that we've been exposed to. So whatever it was that she had, she was really sore in her growing. And I said, well, just um, try putting some lemon oil. And she did. And she said, oh my gosh, that worked amazing. Mm -hmm. It helped so, so well. So um, anyway, what was mm -hmm. I? Um, Last fall. So we have a horse and I did something stupid. <laughs> I decided to walk him down to his stall in flip flops. Oh, <laughs> uh oh, <That's> <laughs> we all know where this is going, right? <laughs> he spooked, and he luckily he's not like when he spooks, he doesn't rear up. He plants. Mm -hmm. His feet went out uh, and stepped right uh, on my foot uh, and tore, uh, you know, a nice little section off the top of my foot. Not real bad, but it was enough that I was like, mm, I could do that again. Yeah. But I noticed it was fine for a few days, and then we went to the barn to feed, and I put boots on, um, the socks, and I think the rubbing um, just kind of irritated it really badly. Because the first thing I did was, well, I thought I was putting uh, tea tree oil on it. <laughs> I grabbed out my little my bag that I keep in my purse, um, and I was wondering why it smelled an awful lot like thieves. Oh, <laughs> the well. color bottles are the same, so yeah. you know it worked out well though because you know thieves is great, yeah, and, but it's a little spicy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I started it started to get infected, and um, you know my foot started to hurt and swell up a little bit, and I could feel it tightening up in my leg, but. I took my dry brush and I brushed mm. up my leg, at least to like my knee to just kind of help mm. encourage the mm -hmm. flow. And then I also took my immune support blend and I rubbed it, <laughs> I took the roller bottle and just rubbed it on my foot all around the wound. And I'll tell you what, as soon as I started doing that, like I started feeling so much better, but I yeah. kept, I, I cleaned it every day and I kept flushing and uh, it's I about putting, consistency. Yeah. And I yeah. kept putting my, my immune support blend around it and it really made a difference because at one point uh, I did go to my doctor and I said this is the stupid thing that I did but this is how I've been treating it and she said well it sounds like you're on the healing end of it just keep doing what you're doing and just let me know if you know any problems I don't want to put you on any antibiotics um I was like good yeah <laughs> I don't like this but right. um yeah, I just, I supported my immune system and mm -hmm. I said, you know, kept working, you know, encouraging my, my lymphatic system to keep doing what it was supposed to be doing. Right. Um, 
and it all turned out okay. I know. Well, see, and that's the thing. It's a, it's about consistency, though. Mm -hmm. It's about continuing and in, in aiding the body and supporting the body in the natural healing process. The body is healing itself. We're just, we're just using natural remedies to support mm -hmm. the body and doing something that's already natural. It's, it's a natural thing, and, mm -hmm. and it just takes time. Healing takes time, and usually people, and, and I include myself in this, because when you're sick, you just want to feel better, like now. You just want it to be. Uh oh, Reba, Reba, I'm. I'll have to. T I'll have to talk to you later. Sorry, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just about um, just being continuous and, and, and patient. Being patient. That it's your your body wasn't going to heal overnight. It takes no, time. No. So, so anyway, that's the, that is the one thing I really try to stress to people who are using oils want to use the oils to support their bodies. It's like you got to do it on a consistent basis, mm -hmm. daily basis. So. Um, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> oops, I don't know what I just did. Okay, so um, what else? We talked about dry brushing. We mm -hmm. talked about the, the massage. And I will post pictures, but like Diane said, you can always go onto Google and look at those um, pictures. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 the main, the point is, I think the direction and the, yeah. the light, the the. Yes, pressure. The, your pressure needs to be very light because you can actually, if it's too firm, uh, you can actually collapse the, the lymph vessel. You just, you know, push down it. Think of um, pushing on, squeezing a straw, you know, it's going to be hard to get the, the liquid through if you're trying to squeeze the straw and suck that's, through it at the same time. That's a good, I was, see, so, I was trying to think of a good, <laughs> a good analogy. That yeah. is perfect. Yeah. Or if you step on the hose and the sprinkler is not going to work after that because you're yeah. cutting off the blood flow yeah. or the, the water flow. But yeah, yeah, just keep it light. Um, otherwise you'll be counterproductive. You know, it, it won't do what you're intending it to do. Um, so, yeah. and, and you said that the, the lymphatics, like the vessels and stuff, are so close to the surface of the skin yes, that it's not close. like it's not like with a um, a deep tissue mas massage where you're like you have to dig in to to reach them. Mm -hmm. No, the no. the lymphatic vessels and the lymphatic system is so close to the skin, so it's very very light. So mm -hmm. don't be like. You know, <laughs> it's not like you're doing a scrub on your face. Yeah, it's so <laughs> light and gentle, that and that's um, all you need to kind of help yeah. move things along. Yeah, because I mean, like I said, you're encouraging the flow of the lymph. You're not trying to force it out. You're not, you know, trying to squeeze that last little bit of the toothpaste tube. You're, you're just trying to say, okay, hello, wake yeah. up. You know, let's, yeah. let's, you know, let's feel better. You know, yeah. let's, let's keep things healthy. You know. So when we were talking about which oils we could use, you could mix it with um, um, like sweet almond oil or jojoba oil mm -hmm. or coconut oil or v Young Living's V6 oil yep. and just a little bit and, and then use the oils as you're doing it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. As a massage oil. Yeah. I and, mean, and like you could do it right after you've gotten out of the shower. Say you're putting your face serum on, you know, you could incorporate that into your face routine, you know, give it an extra couple of minutes. And when you're doing the lymphatic massage, you're just going to kind of repeat it, um, you know, maybe four or five times. Just kind of, you know, mm -hmm. keep it going. So, awesome. Yeah. Cool. So simple. Well, that was good. Was that helpful? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> it was helpful for me. I... I'm not certified in lymph massage, but I have taken some classes. And, you yeah. know, I've got the, the books and the research. And um, so... You know. Well, I mean, if nothing else, just encouraging you because it's probably something you've never thought of before. Right. I didn't think about it. Right. Um, in in, but it's like just to just to kind of open up, you know, like it's like a gateway into a whole other world mm -hmm. <laughs> of self care, <laughs> right? Self care, and so just check it out because you chances are, I bet you, ninety percent of the people on here are like I never even knew such a thing existed mm -hmm. so just check it out just yeah. look at it look into it yourself um, take your tips um, so I have to watch how to do it yeah Whitney okay <laughs> um, yeah it's okay I multitask too while I'm watching lives and stuff but yeah it's um it's just it's just something just to open up your eyes to something new another way to care for yourself and I love the idea of the dry brushing because that seems um, 
something like you could do pretty quickly and yeah. like you said before you get in the shower and mm -hmm. you can do that on a daily basis um, <clears throat> you can do it in the morning to just kind of stimulate things get things going um, or if you're getting ready to take a shower right before bed you know any time of the day is ideal for it but whatever is more convenient for you say you take your showers in the morning do it then you know incorporate it into that routine while the water's heating up mm -hmm. or um, you could even do it while you're Mouthwash, you know. Yeah, so you're not adding um, another step to your routine, yeah, no. like because no, because everybody's like, man, I barely have enough time to brush my teeth before I get out the door yeah. with my kids. So dry brushing is like the last thing. But you're you're saying like try to just fit it in. Yeah. To your, you know. Even if one day you're just doing your arms and the next day you're doing your legs, I mean, mm -hmm. you're getting it in mm -hmm. um, with the dry brushing. You know, while you're standing there, you know staring at yourself in the mirror, you know, <laughs> morning reflections, I don't know. <laughs> Just Some thinking. mantras on your... Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. so, it's it's really simple. Um, it's, it doesn't take a lot of time, but, you know, it's so good for your body. So, so good, important for your immune system to get things flowing and, you know, keep you healthy. Yeah, awesome. And now, you know what? She's going to be able to give me a massage today. <laughs> <laughs> Tanya says, I love dry brushing. Tanya, aren't you a massage therapist? I think she, or maybe not. Or I think she is, but I'm not sure. She'll tell us probably. But um, mm -hmm. does anybody have any questions while we're on? She's the person to ask. <laughs> <laughs> any questions? Any questions? There's a little bit of a delay, so we might have to wait. She's a yoga instructor and health coach. Okay, I knew that, yes, I knew you were... Yes, yoga. Okay, I wasn't sure if you were a massage therapist. Yeah, I'm just going to wait a second and see. So Tanya is does dry brushing. I wonder if there's anybody else. Has anybody else heard of it? Have you ever heard? It would make a great Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. And it's super simple. I mean, you could make up your lymphatic system blend yeah. with the cypress, orange, and grapefruit and maybe give a little roller bottle and a dry brush. I mean, the dry brushes, I mean, you could probably get them for maybe a couple of dollars at the most. I mean, it depends on where you shop. Yeah. I mean, it might cost like $5 at the most, but I mean, I think you can get them for like a buck fifty, two dollars maybe. Yeah. You know, yeah, it doesn't have one of the ladies be... I work with says she's gotten them at the dollar store before. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't have to look just like this either. Yeah. It's just, that's, that's really nice because it's got a handle on it. Yes, you most can stick of them your... will. Okay. I mean, look in the bath section at, at your store. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, your scrub brushes for your back. You know, some of them have a little slot that you can attach a handle so you can scrub your back. Um, just detach the head of it, mm -hmm. you know. But, yeah. yeah. Cool. It, it doesn't have to be fancy, but um, the natural bristles are um, nice and soft. They're gentle on your skin, you know, um, not abrasive. So yeah. it might feel a little weird at first. As you get used to it, just it's kind of tickly sometimes, or just you know, some people might think, oh, this is kind of scratchy, but um, yeah, no, it's really good for you. Um, just bear with it, and you'll get used to it. After You're not day. going to Pet Smart. It, You're not yeah, going to no, Pet no, Smart no, no. to get your brush. <laughs> but they're super you, because you're doing it so gently. Um, yeah. It's not going to hurt, but they're kind of cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I guess nobody has any questions. If they do have any questions, I should have tagged you. In this, Diane, how do I do that? Uh, put the tag on the bottom. Right here? No, the, the next one over. This one? Yeah. Mm. Nope. No. Oh, that's <laughs> invite. Let's try this one. It looked like a tag thing. Nope. Okay. Ah! Okay. Well, you I, might be able to go back and tag I will once. go back and tag you. Um, yeah. Yeah. That way, that way, if, mm -hmm. um, so I want Diane to be able to see questions and then she can answer. Mm -hmm stuff that I can't answer because this is not my area of expertise. <laughs> and like I said, I mean, there's charts all over the internet uh, as far as the flow. So you're always going to start, like, say, at the base of your neck, work it up, and then come back down to the base of the neck. Wherever you start, you're going to start at the most, um, the area that's closest to the lymph nodes, and then work your way out, and then back, and then flush it. So, I mean, that's, it's, it's so simple. You can go around, so you, if you want to do around the lips, you start out here, work your way in, and then work your way back out, and then flush. flush. Here, same thing. You'll start out, work your way in, back out, flush. You know, do the forehead in, and then out, and then flush. 
Um, and then if you want to get more in depth, there's, like I said, tons of pictures <clears throat> with all the directions of the flow and you can, you know, your head and arms and shoulders and your whole body. Um, and if you're curious as to where all the lymph node clusters actually are, because that's the best place to start is where the clusters are, um, you know, just Google, Google lymphatic massage or lymph node charts. Um, and there's a wealth of information out there, but it's so super simple and it's just an easy way to add to, you know, keeping yourself healthy. Yeah. And I'll post these pictures, um, in, in this, um, video. So hi, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's it. I think so. Yeah. Thank you so much, Diane, for sharing with us. We need to get together more often and do videos on different things. So yeah, sounds good. <laughs> All right, you guys. She's going to give me a massage. Oh, oh. Yep. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys. Bye.